Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. If you're new to my channel, I'm a home stager and I like to share with you all my home decor hauls, round home, my home staging business, and um, my DIYs and projects. Today though is a home tour that was presented by a fellow YouTuber, Davida Lane. I will link her channel down below. And she has a wonderful, wonderful channel. But not only that, she's a wonderful person as well. I'll um, link the playlist that she's provided down below as well. But her challenge or um, what she wanted us to do if we had a 4th of July patriotic home to do a little tour of it. So I decided to do mine. And I this is the first time I've ever done a patriotic theme and or tour for 4th of July. So I'm going to start in the kitchen area because that's where I basically <laughs> do everything. Um, let's see. Over here we'll start with the little DIY um, floral ice creams that I made. That little cow creamer was my mom. Same with that ice cream scoop. I made that. I will link that little DIY down below or at the end of this video. And that was from 99 cent store. And then that little ice cream container, it's supposed to be, was from Target, but for like 90 cents in the clearance section. And then over here, next to my stove, I have a little faux pie. Now there's a story behind this. <laughs> I really wanted to make a pie, a faux pie that Davida Lane had made on her channel. But it took five hours in the oven and um, I didn't want to cook it for that long. And my dad didn't want me either because gas here is really expensive. So I decided to make it out of burlap. And let me show you. First, I'll show you the little ice creams, which she also did, and she made out of spackle, which, oh my God, they were so amazing. I just put them, put burlap, like a chocolate swirl with a little splash of vanilla and a little Dollar Tree um, straw. And that one's vanilla with a little chocolate on top in little 99 cent store cups with a little strawberry made out of foil and tissue paper, some little uh, leftover leaves and plastic veining for the, the um, topper. This is from the 99 cent store. This little, um, I recently got this. Oh no, I'm sorry, from the Dollar Tree. This little picnic type towel. But in here is my faux apple pie. Let me show you guys. So here's my pie. I just have a rusted cake pan that I was going to recycle. It was my mom's and we were going through her things. Um, I made it out of um, paper on the inside. It's like that natural paper um, that I wrap gifts with. I get it for free from Amazon. They wrap or they put it in my packaging so that I order and then I just used some leftover cream colored burlap and some darker colored leftover burlap. And if you guys wanna see how I make this, I'll do a DIY on it. Um, and then I made some apple shapes, apple slices shape out of the burlap. And I just put it on top of here with the dome. I think it looks pretty cute. <laughs> it's nothing like Davida's, but it's still pretty cute. <laughs> I kind of like how it looks. So I'm gonna cover it up with the dome and put it back in its place. But that is that little vignette. And then over here I have, um, it's a pretty functional area. I have all my utensils. I put a little 99 cent store wreath with a Goodwill pig. He was a uh, $1.19 and it's Mexican pottery. I put a little flag from the 99 cent store that I did a coffee stain on to not make it look so brassy white. I know you can't tell the difference, but it did change the look of it. 
And I feel like for being patriotic, all you really need to do is be neutral with your colors and then add some flags sometimes. And then some summer like goodness, like pies and ice creams. Over here are my cutting boards and I have this little cut or dough bowl. I got from the Goodwill. It was um, two nineteen, and it's a flag double. It does have like a little paint on the edge there, but I'm okay with it. Two nineteen for a double. That's patriotic. Yes. <laughs> so that's this little area in the kitchen. I hope this is coming out because it's looking fuzzy. Oh, okay, there we go. It's looking fuzzy. Try not to go fast, guys, because I don't want to make you dizzy. Then on this end over here, that's my lemon tree. Here's my little two-tier tray. You guys have seen this before with all the lemons and the 99 cent store um, little signs. This is a coaster from the 99 cent store. That's a little mason jar I painted to look like jadeite, along with these Dollar Tree salt and pepper shakers. They turned out pretty well, I thought. And these lemons are from the Target Dollar Spot, and then that lemon um, picture is from the Dollar Tree. And then over here, next to this area, is my Better Home and Gardens um, tray that I got from Walmart with some cherry plates from the Dollar Tree. My little DIY um, Cherry Dr. Pepper float. <laughs> I'll link that down below or um, at the end of this video. With my also video that um, shows how I made this sign from the Dollar Tree. It cost me $2.00. And then that sign is from the Dollar Tree. So that's this little area of my kitchen. I'll kind of pan out here. It's like a little parlor setup next to my cabinets. A little faux cherry that I made on top. I think that turned out pretty cute. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go into my kitchen dinette set. And if I can, well, there's Garage Kitty. So this is also from the Better Home and Gardens um, section, collection, I should say. And it's just like an ice cooler, and it has like a little cute... Um, Handles on the side. I put two flags that I had done a coffee stain with, some Dollar Tree baby's breath, and some 99 cent store greenery that I put in there, which you will see in my next haul. And sometimes I feel like um, with the red, white, and blue, you need to tone it down a bit with the galvanized metal. And so that's why I use a bunch of it in my space and then here is <laughs> a little accent piece of um, a piece of pottery that i got from it's a trivet that i got from goodwill for dollar 19. i put some cream colored um burlap in the back and i made like a little dollar tree um hat top hat from the dollar tree ribbon i should say and a little bow tie. I think he turned it really cute. So it's a pretty simple area. My table matches my cabinets and keeping it simple. Oh, I forgot to mention on my island. Pretty much kept it simple. It's the same as you guys have seen before, but I did remove the tray down below kind of to clean it up. That sign is from the Dollar Tree. Those little stars and bless this kitchen is from the 99 cent store. 
salt and pepper cow and pig is from Goodwill, and the copper um, salt and pepper shakers and mugs are from the Dollar Tree. This beautiful ceramic basket weave um, basket is from um, my dad got it from like I think an antique shop, but it's not an antique. It's just um, someone had made it, and I love it. I just started using it a few months ago. And he got it in Nevada. The next thing in my kitchen, my coffee. <laughs> and then this little two-tiered stand. I just have my little cherry bowls and cups from the Dollar Tree in my two-tiered stand. And the little um, kitchen this, the kitchen is the heart of the home sign is from the 99 cent store. And that little vase back there was a jam jar. I cleaned out and painted red and put some Dollar Tree baby's breath and nautical rope around it. Some greenery at the top, the bottom, more greenery and a Dollar Tree, um, star back there. I was going to paint it white, but I kind of liked it clear. I love these cherry bowls and mugs. Over here, same thing. Um, this little cherry towel is from the Dollar Tree. The little red plastic cake plate is from Target Dollar Spot. It was on clearance for 30 cents. And then this other cake plate is from RC Willie. And it cost me a dollar with my discount and everything. It was such a deal. And then that little um, paper mache bunny um, was, I think, a dollar nineteen at Goodwill. All right, let's move on to the family room. Over here, you guys saw this big picture I've had for a long time. Um, I just put poster board with contact paper on it to cover the picture in the middle. I really like it. If you see dimpling in it, it's from other pictures I had over it. <laughs> and then the 99 cent store map. I'm sorry for the like the glare of the uh, flash. But it looks really cute. And then I have some nautical rope on around the side. As you can see. Down below is... You guys saw me haul this mirror table or mirror, and it was a part of like a $20 purchase that I made on Craigslist. Um, I It's an odd shaped mirror, so I used it as a tabletop on this little table with another mirror table down below and a little wicker stool to offset all of the mirror and the little fencing back here, which is from the 99 cent store. And I have three little bird cages that are from Hobby Lobby. And they are tea light holders with glass in them, but I just put some Walmart flowers in there. And it's on a little wood cutting board. These are some lanterns I had forever from Pottery Barn. And <laughs> I know that's a sad looking bow. It's from the Dollar Tree, but I like the colors. I didn't really have time to embellish it, but I liked the color quite a bit, the burlap, and a little bit of glitter on it, which was fine. And in here are two candles. The cream-colored ones are battery-operated from the 99-cent store for $5. The, the gold ones are from Goodwill for $1.19. The burlap peonies were $0.62 cents from Hobby Lobby. And then the little fairy lights are from Target after Christmas for $2.50. And then the cream colored um, candles are on little pottery that I got, two pottery pieces from the 99 cent store, and I just turned them upside down. I kind of liked all that neutral burlap wood look. So let me back up and I'll show you guys a better view. I don't want to bump into anything. <laughs> so that's that little area. This is the back of my, so it's like a sofa chair. And it's just a little table 
with another um, home and gardens d beverage dispenser, but I got it at Goodwill for six nineteen. It did not come with the top. And then I have some Dollar Tree cherry blossoms and pussy willows in there, which I think is cute. I put that table there too, so my cats won't scratch the back, which they have been doing. Naughty little creatures. <laughs> and then over here is the big chair and I have a bunch of cream colored pillows and the flag is a throw it's a dollar 99 from the 99 cent store which I kind of like it and then over here is my side table you guys saw me do a thrift haul I got two of these little side tables for $3. Those drums are from Ross a few years ago. The, oops, little tray, wicker tray is from the Goodwill. The little bunny is from Ross and it looks like faux wood. It was on clearance for, I think, oh, $8. I had to have it and I just put some Walmart um, floral on it. Then this little dreidel, wood looking dreidel thing was at Hobby Lobby for $2. The little coastal candle holder was 69 cents at Goodwill. The, um, wicker rattan, uh, little case back there is from Goodwill. I have two of them and they're coasters inside. That little pottery piece is from the 99 cent store that's sitting on top. And then Dollar Tree Hygienges. And this sweet little sign from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.25 and it's metal. Sweet Land of Liberty. I just love that sign. It's so beautiful. So that's one side of my sofa. Sorry, I hope I'm not moving too fast. And then over here are, is my sofa and love seat. And these pillowcases in the bandana, my tenant made for me. So I bought the royal blue and red um, from the 99 cent store. So it was pillow covers basically for $2, which was a steal of a deal. And the ones over here are, I kind of like these colors better. It's the maroon bandana. And then the navy on the back side, which I love for summer. Sorry, my cat. But the maroon really matches these pillows that I got from the 99 cent store. They were $4.99, guys. And they are that maroon and dark navy, which I like. And then they had like a little battery pack of lights in there with batteries. And they light up the stars. How cute is that for $4.99? So I got two of those. And I, I just think they're so cute. Sorry, it's starting to get a little dark here. I just love the look of the bandana. I'm gonna keep those out all summer long and maybe the flag pillows also. Um, underneath here, you see a little bump. Hey, good looking. <laughs> That's my baby. Oh, my baby girl. <laughs> That's the little nugget. <laughs> she likes to go underneath there. Anyways, um, <laughs> so that's my sofa and my love seat. I think the pillows really give it a good big impact, to be honest. And I really like that. I kept everything kind of on the neutral side. I don't really like bright red, white, and blue. On the side here is that little pillow, or pillow, little um, ladder that I got for $5 and I painted it white and I put a 99 cent store um, little sign star on it. 
And then over here on the side is a um, little tribute for Mother's Day that I did. I will link that down below or at the end of the video. It's a little faux bird bath with the birds and everything. And I just added a little flag. That's my cat over there. <laughs> and then over here is the same table. So I got both of these side tables for $3. And I just have a little burlap basket that I got from Walmart with a bunch of Dollar Tree hydrangeas and a Dollar Tree flag. Same lamp. Those lamps are from Home Goods from a few years ago. A little free lantern that I got. I will do a video on all my free items but I like this one because it had little stars in it it was very patriotic and then an after clearance um, candle from Target for 99 cents so that's the family room area Seems like a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> and then on the coffee table, you guys saw me haul this boot tray that I use as a tray. It was $7 from Target. And I just have another cake stand from RC Willys. That was $5 with my discount. Another flag on top from the 99 cent store. A ceramic birdhouse from Grocery Outlet. Some apothecary jars I made. I will link that also at the end of this video. And some little picket fence from the 99 cent store. A little natural ball orb from Goodwill was 99 cents. Um, that little white ball was gold and I painted it white from the 99 cent store. That little star is from Goodwill and then I just painted some stars and stripes. It was 49 cents. Those books were free. The little bird is from the 99 cent store. I really wanted to keep this kind of neutral and natural looking almost on the coastal side. And I think that turned out really well. And then over here, you guys saw me do a video on this. It was my cozy corner challenge um, <laughs> hosted by Arlen from Arlen's Country Craft Corner. And it's a little park bench, lantern, topiary. The only thing that I changed was on the little rocket fireworks, I changed the little stems out for um, the straws. They looked better. And then you see the little picnic that I have here. I changed out that straw also. And then on the lantern, I did put some red and blue flowers. I'll link this video explaining everything um, after this video. And then I have some bunting, it's burlap. Um, up here, I've always wanted one. My dad bought it for me from Walmart. It was $7.88. Some 99 cent store mason jars that have little stars on them. And then I just put some um, burlap hydrangeas in there from the Hobby Lobby. There's some peonies up there, burlap ones, and then a flag. That is from Goodwill, that clock. And then over here, I kept this the same from spring, except I added the flag and that rib or that bow behind the bunny because it all looks, I like it. I just think it's so pretty. I had that little birdcage also. So not much change there. Just a couple pieces I feel like you can add to make it look patriotic. Um, I really like, like if you stand back and just look at this part up, I really love it. 
And then down below is a cozy corner portion of it, which is a little park bench <laughs> with the picnic basket and the little lantern. You guys all saw that already. I did add the flowers and the topiary with fireworks. And then the last part is in my formal dining area, which I will show you. It's just a couple pieces. This is the last look of my family room. I know it's getting dark in here, guys. I really like using that flag as like a little throw with all my cream pillows. That was a really good deal for $1.99 for that big flag. It's actually well made. Okay, let's go into the formal dining area. The only thing I did in here was I kept it real simple. It's just um, some a burlap runner that I got from Walmart for a dollar. Some placemats that I got from my stager. And they're cream on this side. But I like the burlap better. Keeping it real natural with a silver charger. It's kind of looking, it looks like... Um, Kind of like, oh, I, you know what? I spilled, I knew I spilled water there. Oh, well. Okay, and then I put some, um, what's it called? Um, a wreath from the 99 cent store made out of like faux boxwood. Keeping it natural. And then another um, Better Home and Gardens little galvanized bucket with some Walmart flowers that kind of look like fireworks. And then... Behind the Statue of Liberty is another flag from the 99 cent store. And then the Statue of Liberty from Walmart for $3.88. I will eventually be painting this armoire, cabinet, and table white. I just have not done that yet. And then the last thing. I made this huge wreath and it really doesn't, can't fit on the door. It's just too big and bulky. But I put... <laughs> I call it Rockets and Roses. Reminds me of the 80s. Um, it's burlap over a grapevine wreath with some ticking stripe ribbon. And a bunch of roses that I got from Walmart. And I did add a little bit of burlap in the middle of some of them. As you can see, kind of to soften the look. Because I felt like it looked all so harsh. Red, white, and blue. This bow is from Hobby Lobby. It was 80 cents on clearance. And I did add a little bit of burlap in them also. I kind of think it makes it look softened up a little bit. And then a bunch of those little rocket um, firecrackers, fireworks that I made. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, out of paper towel and toilet paper holders with burlap and Dollar Tree ribbon and then I added like I said the little stems are little um, straws from the Dollar Tree and then over here just some neutral greenery or floral and some red white and blue that's it guys I hope you really enjoyed this tour Thank you, Davida Lane, for presenting this tour to all of us YouTubers. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry this video is going up so late. I have had a lot on my plate lately, <laughs> but I'm glad I was able to do it finally. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you all later. Bye.